is up there everybody, Citrus AVs here for another video and today we are going to show you how to edit your pictures and make them amazing. So we're going to show you how to do it in Adobe Lightroom which is a great software for editing pictures. You can get to Adobe Lightroom fairly easily, it's about $10 a month if you just go for a normal account or if you already have a Creative Cloud account like I do, you will get the software included with your subscription. So, we are going to show you how to do it in Lightroom. You can do this also in Photoshop in, and in other apps as well if you have some of those. But uh, I'm just going to show you Lightroom. That is generally how professionals use it. And we're going to do that. So, what you're going to want to do is you're first going to want to log onto your computer. I'm currently here in InDesign. I have a project that uh, you guys will get to see soon. And uh, open up your Lightroom app and uh, let it load. And then once it loads, uh, most likely if you've used it for a project recently, you'll just load in your most recent project. And this was for a, a video that I did recently. And then go to File, Import, Photos and Videos. And then select the files that you want to import. So in here I have my untitled card. This is just what's called, it's called untitled. And then we're just going to go down to the pictures that we're going to use for today. I've already edited a lot of these pictures here from a while ago. So we're going to edit these pictures here today. I'm going to let it load the selection. Okay, I don't want those. Sometimes it takes a while for it to, uh, you know, get rid of the pictures you don't want it to import. In order to make this simple, I'm just going to uncheck all, click this button down here, and then I'm going to select this picture, scroll down to the bottom, Click this, click the little tick there, which will select all the ones that I have highlighted, and then I'll just import those. So we click the import button, and that will guarantee that those import. Now, of course, this import process can take a little bit. Also, ensure you have enough room on your computer, because these will load into your files, and this can end up taking a little while to do. Um, so. You have the, your images here, you can just scroll through them. Um, unfortunately, when I took these pictures here, the camera was not, I didn't have the quite right settings, so there's a bit more haze than I'd like, so these I will edit later. Um, they weren't terrible, not the best, but uh, I'll get back to these a little bit later, maybe in the video. This one's really cool. I, I do like the tower thoughts, I'm kind of really enjoying trying those. Um, you can see I realized the issue and I kind of get to something a little bit better. And uh, this is darker, but that's fine. We will fix that problem later in editing. Uh, it's usually easier to fix darker images than lighter images, and you can see I've moved spots over here now. Got the E170, too much haze, but what we are gonna do is edit these pictures together. So these ones right here. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's see how good they are. This one looks pretty good. The uh, Trim is really close. I almost cropped it there. Uh, so let's see if the next one's better. This one actually looks pretty good. Not too blowy. The crop is something we can deal with. We can walk with that. Alright. Yes, I know I'm getting close to filling up my computer. Alright, so what we're going to do here, now that we select the picture that we want to edit, go to develop. And then there's some basic things we want to do. So first I want to frame the aircraft correctly. So I click on this button here. It looks like a frame button. Select it, and then we resize the image. I am holding the shift and then just dragging with the cursor. And we're just going to frame that about right there. You want the aircraft center if possible, unless you're doing something unique, like putting a towel or something in the image, like you saw earlier. So I think that's about right. All right, so we're going to pick that. This is November 714 Charlie Bravo. It's the Southwest Classic. Really good. I'm pretty happy with how this image turned out. Alright, so we've done that. And then we want to go down here. We want to turn up the softness. Not too much, because we turn up the softness too much. Let me show you what that'll look like. It just gets too grainy there. And if you have the softness too low, it's too blurry. So you want something in the middle. Uh, preferably not over 80. So for this, I think... 77 is looking pretty good for this one. And so yeah, we'll do that. And then there's some other sliders here that you can play with as well. Uh, this is... This should be good for now. 
Okay, so next thing you want to do is look for dust spots. So the best way to do that is to zoom in on the image and just take a look around, carefully scan the image, look for dust spots, and if you see one, you want to get rid of them. So I'm just all right. So as we go along here, we'll just look everywhere on the picture, maybe even jiggle back and forth just in case there's a dust spot on our screen. And as we come along here at the top, you'll notice there is one right here, right in here. So what we are going to do is we're going to pick this little circle thing right here. And well, this is the spot healing tool. So it allows us to heal spots out of the image. So we're going to pick this little spot right here. And we're going to then just drag right over there, right over the spot where the spot on the lens was. And you can see it does this little thing here where it heals the spot and then you just press enter. And you click the tool again to X out it, and you can see it's done a nice job of getting rid of the spot for us. But we're gonna keep looking, and uh, you can see there's another one right up around here. So we're gonna do the same thing. Yeah, and then we're just gonna go across there like that, and hit enter twice, and we've gotten rid of that dust spot. All right. So it appears both the dust spots on the image have been gotten rid of. So we are good to go on to the next step. So, at this point the photo is well and truly on its way to being done. We found all the dust spots, we aligned it correctly, and now we're just going to make some adjustments here on the main sliders. So, you can just slide these up and down however you like. I actually like how the image was stock, so I'm going to leave it that way. Contrast, you can change that a little bit too. I like to just have just a teeny bit more contrast. Uh, highlights, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn those up just a bit. And shadows, I'm gonna turn those up just a bit as well. Again, note these are very teeny and minute adjustments. Don't go like crazy, like turn your white balance all the way up here to where it blinds you. Or down here to where it's dark. Just wanna make just slight adjustments. I think I will decrease the black there so we can get a bit more contrast here. Yeah, I really like how it looks. Alright. Um, and colors I do tend to brighten them up just a little bit just add a little bit of vibrance and saturation just a little bit just a just a tad again not too much just enough to lighten up the image make it look nice um, and I'm very happy with that you can also play around with your curves here if you want to you can do that but uh, I'm not going to be doing that today we're going to leave this image like it is but uh, you can definitely work on that anyway there are more things you can do in here. If you can see, there's a lot of options in Lightroom. But uh, so far, this image is looking good. So what we're gonna do now, now that we're very happy with it, is we're gonna click Edit. And we're gonna click the Export button. And we're going to select today's date. Today, this date is the 29th, if I remember correctly, of August. We're almost at the end of the month. And I'm gonna have selected to export to the desktop and then I'm going to have it at the original size. You can change the size that you want it, uh, which you'll want to export to a different size if you're doing it to Jet Photos, which I will do that here shortly. So I'm just going to click the export button and it has sent out my image. There we go. All right, so now we can go to the desktop and we can take a look at our new folder as before. And there is our image. We just click on that and bam. Bah bam. There you have a really nice picture, and you've taken your raw file, you do want to see it raw, you've taken your raw file and you've made it so much nicer. Like that picture, that is going to be much nicer than the picture that you originally took. So a lot of these changes are small, but it's going to be mass improvement. Alright, so next up I'm going to export again, and I'm going to export this for Jet Photos. And uh, I'm not going to do the rename, but I am going to resize it. I'm going to do image sizing and resize this image to 1280 by 1080 which is perfect for Jeff photos and we're going to export that we are not going to overwrite and there we go so hopefully this video helps you guys to take better pictures um, I might be able to do some more in the future if you have some specific questions like uh, one thing that you need to do is level your images but um, Obviously, this picture didn't need as much leveling, so let's actually go back to another picture that does. Um, let's go 
to this e-jet image here. You can see this one's not correctly. So as you can see, this aircraft is uh, not correctly leveled, and we're going to fix that problem. So we're going to go into here into our square tool again, and we're just going to select the corner, and we're just going to rotate a little bit. We're just going to go over oh, about here. Hit enter, and there we go. We correctly leveled the image. So those are things you need to do when editing your pictures. Hopefully this video helped you guys to take your images to the next level and become an excellent photographer. Alrighty folks, and now we have the finished result right here. This image, as you can see, is the final one of November 714 Charlie Bravo. And this is my final version of the image that I've made. I made a few adjustments to it, as you might have seen. I added some saturation and some vibrance to it as well up the contrast and made a couple adjustments there but this is the final image this is the final result it's currently uploading to jet photos as we speak it's currently waiting for them to go through and screen it it'll be up on flyway it'll be up on instagram and such so i hope you guys enjoy this picture and hope you guys enjoy me showing you how to go through and edit your own pictures so thank you guys for watching this video have a great rest of your day and god bless you